Welcome to this tour of the University of Mauritius. Set in the beautiful landscape of Réduit with high-rise buildings, the University of Mauritius aims to create and disseminate knowledge and understanding to the citizens of Mauritius and the intellectual community. The university aspires to be an international university bridging knowledge across continents through excellence and intellectual creativity. The University of Mauritius was inaugurated on 24th March 1972 by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, accompanied by His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. The University was founded under the developmental concept to help in the development of Mauritius. Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra was installed as the first Chancellor of the University on the 21st October 1974. Over the past decades, the University has progressed slowly from mostly an in-service training institution to a full-fledged University, constantly increasing on bachelor's and postgraduate degree programs. It is also involved in research and consultancy in response to the contemporary and emergent needs of various sectors of the Mauritian economy. Other developments of significance that indicated the direction in which the university was moving in were as follows. The setting up of a computer center, the creation of a department of law in 1985, and the inauguration of the SSR Center for Medical Research in 1986. The Department of Textile Technology was set up within the School of Industrial Technology in 1987, while the School of Industrial Technology was renamed the School of Engineering. In 1989 itself, following the visitors' report, the university set up a School of Science. The new academic complex, inaugurated in November 1994, provides classrooms and lecture halls which can accommodate up to 2,500 students at one time. And the tower block provides accommodation for the Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Law and Management, as well as for the central administration of the university. The School of Administration became the School of Law, Management and Social Studies. In the same year, an antenne universitaire was inaugurated in Rodrigues. In 1993, the School of Law and Management and Social Studies was restructured into two faculties, namely the Faculty of Law and Management and the Faculty of Social Studies and Humanities. At the same time, the other three schools, namely the School of Agriculture, the School of Engineering and the School of Science, became faculties. The increase in the use of IT resources compelled the university to split the computer center in 1987 into an academic department of computer science and engineering and the center of information technology and systems, namely the CITS. The CITS is responsible, amongst others, for providing access to computing facilities to students, staff and administrators of the university. The J. Bagwan Center for Distance Learning, initially called Center for Extramural Studies, was set up in 1993 with the help of a Canadian International Development Agency and the Laurentian University. The objective was to introduce distance learning education methods at the university. It is responsible for running programs and modules using distance education techniques. In June 2005, the Centre has been renamed as Centre for Professional Development and Lifelong Learning, the CPDL. The University of Mauritius entered a new development phase when the Virtual Centre for Innovative Learning Technologies, the VCILT, was created in 2001. The VCILT is responsible for providing technical support to academics and tutors to develop online web-based education and telelearning at the University. Located in the geographic center of the campus, the University Library was founded on the 15th September 1969 by Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra. It now has an area of 32,000 square feet over four floors, with a book capacity of 150,000 volumes approximately, and space for 350 readers. 
December 1995 saw the inauguration of the University Student Center and the cafeteria. The University Gymnasium opened its doors in October 2004 and the engineering tower was completed in the same year. The total space currently available at the University is 51,831 square meters including the newly built multi-purpose gymnasium and the engineering tower of 10 levels. Starting with the modest figure of 481 in 1968, the University has an overall student population of 11,031. 1,200 students are registered on postgraduate programs, both thought and by research, and 9,831 on undergraduate degree programs. For the last 10 years, the total number of students graduating from the university has been on the increasing trend, and the university has been attracting more and more local and international students. Some of the sectors where the former students are actively engaged are the finance sector, the engineering sector, the medical field, among others. Some of our alumni are occupying top positions at various levels in different sectors. On the 30th April 2013, the University of Mauritius Alumni Association was launched. And actually, you are writing its history with your participation.